Hi everyone, welcome to the Restaurant Show, and we are out in Beaufort at the Sea Eagle Market with Miss Melena. How are you? I'm good. It is uh, the month of uh, people having cookouts, people grilling out, and we're going to talk about all those things, aren't we, yes. today? Um, but we're going to start out with a beautiful fish that I think a lot of people aren't really always um, anxious to cook because it's kind of scary. It's, it, it's a little bit nerve-wracking. It's, it's, it's a little it's, intimidating Yeah, sometimes. absolutely. And so what do we have today here? Um, today we have local swordfish. Okay, local swordfish. Mm -hmm. And um, what did we do with the local swordfish here today? Um, all I did with this is just simple olive oil, salt, pepper, and a grill. Okay, <laughs> and, then, and there we <laughs> <a> go. Grill. <laughs> now, That's it. But what you, the thing is, is getting it to that point it seems so simple, right? So oh, my, I just get it from the store and we go from there. But you guys really go from the um, boat to our table. So tell yes. me about, a little about the process. And I know we have some pictures of like actually bringing in swordfish. We do. Um, we actually have um, a couple boats that we deal with. We have some Charleston stuff and then we have some people that come actually here to Port Royal that we unload with. Cool. Um, so they go out and catch the swordfish and then we bring it here locally um, and we cut it in store um, right. right in front of you. Um, and then, you know, these steaks come to you. And they come in steaks. That's the way, not fillets, right? Or is right. what well, the preferred way? Swordfish, we cut into loins, kind of like loins. tuna. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, and then you know they can they can cut them however thick you want it. Cause some people like them really like inch thick. Right. Some people right. want them a little bit thinner, but these are these are probably like our inch thick pieces. Right. Kind of normal. Now, um, I mean, it is a process. It's not life of a fisherman is not easy. I mean, no, what it's not. What time are you? I mean, what time do you go out on the boats? What time are you are you actually bringing these in? Um. Well. It all depends. Sometimes a lot of swordfish boats go out for a couple of days. Oh. Um, some swordfish go, like the eagle eye, sometimes they're out for 20 days and they go down oh the Caribbean. Gosh. They go down the Caribbean and then come back up right, and fish. Right. So, you know, it all depends. I think like the Charleston Star and stuff like that, they go out for a couple of days and right. then come in. I mean, it's a process. It it's is. Not <laughs> it's not. Lots of hooks. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots of things going on. But um, so when by the time it does get here, and I know a lot of the restaurants locally mm. actually buy from you guys. They this do. just isn't a, um, you know, retail as far as just to customers walking in and bringing it to the kitchen, restaurants come here and then they actually serve this then yes. masses, mm -hmm. right? So something like this. Now, how would we um, cook? Is this a medium rare? Is it medium? What? Um, well, the, what we usually tell people, um, you know, you come get your steaks. Right. Um, when you take it home, you rub it down with olive oil, okay. a little salt and pepper. Make sure your grill gets hot. Once hot. Your, once your grill is hot, then you want to sear it on each side for about eight minutes and get those Beautiful. grill marks on there to look all pretty. Beautiful. And then I um, prepared it on some rice pilaf. Wonderful. I love that. Stick it on there. And, and this, this is our secret. I saw it. And she, she was just opening it. I was like, oh, I love that stuff. It <laughs> is so good. Now tell us about what this is too. And I want to um, just get the label there. One of our guys that works with us, he mm -hmm. is our salsa guy. So yes. he makes this pineapple habanero salsa and it goes good on everything. I think last time what, we were with you, we did oh, salmon. Oh yeah, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and you have it here. Um, yes. At, and you can buy, along with a lot of other items that you can add to the fish or, to, I mean really you don't even have to go to the grocery store after leaving here. You could leave here with your side, your seasonings, your breading. You even have foil I think over foil here too. Foil and salt and pepper, and salt so you're good. <laughs> and butter, you and have butter. the sweet creamery butter. Yes. It's very beautiful local butter. Um, it's two pounds. I just love it because it comes, it's hand rolled. It's awesome. So you really could leave here with everything. Everything you need. For, for your meal. And so we just put this on. Now this has a beautiful kick to it. It's sweet. It's spicy. It just has everything. To, it's wonderful. I, I love this. I was telling you, I was eating on crackers. <laughs> well, you know, when you have leftovers and you're like, man, I'm still hungry, just grab you some chips and just dig Ex in. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So as you can see, this is, and this is going to be a beautiful steak. It's um, very hearty, yes. very, um, it's, and it's not light and flaky though, so we don't want to confuse that with right. something like a, um, maybe like a snapper that's a little bit that flat fish, right? right. Or I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's flat fish. What's a, a flounder? Would that flounder? Yes, yeah, not a flaky flat like fish. Flounder. Yeah, gotcha, so it's, gotcha. It's closer to like grouper. And yes, tile. absolutely. It's a little bit more thicker. Beautiful. And um, now I know that you um, wear many hats here. Yes. <laughs> but one of them this time of year is definitely the go-to person, the, the woman in charge of like oyster roasts, yes. right? Tell us a little bit about what we need to do. If, if I want to come in and get oysters from, if I'm just going to come and get oysters to, I want you to just come to my house and do the oyster roast. Okay, well you can always come in here and buy oysters by the count, 
by the pound, we do a 20 pound half bushel, 40 pound full bushel. Okay. So you can come How in. How many people would feed a bushel? Like a normal, just a guesstimate. I'm gonna say four to five people, because you're per gonna be bushel. hungry. Yeah, and you wanna eat, and then you kinda yeah. you get work at and all that. Okay, so that's one thing, you can come and get the bushel. What Then then what else can we do? Then what else we can do is an oyster roast. So what you do is you call me and be like, hey, I wanna do an oyster roast. Right. Our minimum is 25 people. Okay. Now we come to your house, you don't have to do anything. I like that. Anything at all. <laughs> so we come to your house, we provide the table, crackers, hot sauce, Everything. cocktail sauce. Rags, gloves, knives, everything. So you just the bring shuckers, your friends. The like the whole thing. Everything. You just bring your friends and come to the table and we bring you the Ready to eat. Yep. Uh, now, and how long in advance should we be calling you to, to let you know? I mean, it's not like a quick get together like tomorrow we're going to do this. Yeah, no, you're going to have to call me because yeah. <laughs> everybody kind of knows how much they love oyster roast and they call. And especially <laughs> when the weekends happen, all yes. of a sudden, all of October is booked. Yes. I'll, I mean, there, you can't you can't have enough days on the weekend ever. Or anyway, right. but when it comes to oyster roast, you definitely have to book ahead of time. Um, and you also do low country boils. So if everyone's yes. not just doing oysters, you have the low country boil and pork. Yeah, too. We can combo anything. Right. So just talk to you and mm -hmm. find out, and you can find out from her and, and see what you know, because you might have some people who just don't eat oysters. Right. Um, they haven't lived yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, then you can always fill them with the pork and the chicken and, and all those beautiful. Um, barbecue meats that you guys do on yes. your smoker mm -hmm. outside, which I love. Um, so make sure you check them out. And of course, remember there is, um, you now have two docks that you're actually pulling from. Is that correct? Well, one dock is specifically ours, and then we, right. know we do have other local docks that we're pulling from, but um, the old Dobson Seafood is now um, sea Eagle Market of Village Creek. Wonderful, so. that is awesome. I love the expansion. I love that you are just bringing all of the local um, fish and seafood and bringing it to our tables, from your boat to our tables. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love, we, we're missing the little one to we tell are. us that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Melena. And you guys, make sure you check out the Sea Eagle Market on Boundary Street in Beaufort. We'll be back in just a moment.